Hi, welcome to our masterclass. Before a grower starts to grow, he has to take a lot of decisions. And one of the decisions is how to water the substrate for the plant. Which substrate should I choose? Anyhow, all these decisions will eventually have influence on the result what the plant can give. In this video, we will describe the cocoa substrate in combination with hydroponic way of growing. In other words, a run to waste system. For that, you need a cocoa, which is actually dry, or you make a substrate drier by adding, for example, perlite or clay pebbles. Cocoa is seen as an alternative for Terra in the future when peat, the main ingredient of Terra, will be restricted. Growing on cocoa in a hydroponic way, you can see as a kind of hydro system, but still growing on an organic substrate. Examples of these kind of substrates could be the, our cocoa slabs or cocoa slabs, which you water by dripping or spray systems, but you can also make your own substrate with cocoa professional or natural in a mixture with perlite or clay pebbles. So the water strategy is more like hydroponics. That means you often water the substrate to correct what is happening in the rhizosphere, which means in the environment of the roots. That means that the roots are living on the water between the fibers of the substrate. EC and pH are very important. One small mistake can ruin your crop. Because the watering system is watering that often with small amounts, you have to keep the moist content of the substrate on its highest level. That means you water till drain is appearing, at least between 10 and 30% to keep the substrate moist. Because of this watering system, the characteristics of cocoa absorbing calcium and releasing potassium is still happening, but you flush them out by the drain. That means you have to give extra potassium, and that is why we have a coger vega and a coger florus to make sure the plant gets what it needs. Nevertheless, often we make use of a non-buffered cocoa substrate. And that substrate you always have to buffer with a buffer agent before you start using it. Growing on cocoa in this way is more seen as a hydro system. So something between terra and hydro, it's more to the hydro side. Nevertheless, we can keep the quality of a natural product, which gives more taste. If this is the substrate in combination with the watering system you want, then Coger Nutrients is the way to go for. If not, have a look to one of the other videos, because maybe an alternative for this system suits better to you.